Guten Tag. Welcome to a brand new episode of Freewheeling. I'm Siddharth Vinayak Patankar. Now, we're also welcoming you to Saxony in Germany. It's a province not associated with much of the German automobile industry today, but it certainly has a lot of history. It is also part of East Germany, and we are talking about Volkswagen on today's episode. Now, here is the flagship of the Volkswagen range. It is the Phaeton sedan. A very special process goes into making this car. We'll talk about that and also, of course, take you across to Wolfsburg in northern Germany, which is the headquarters to this German giant. All of that is on freewheeling today. It is now officially Europe's largest car maker. It represents a massive clutch of very popular car brands. Volkswagen began life as the simple people's car idea in Germany and the iconic Beetle is the car that started it all. But before we show you the company's various brands like Audi, Skoda or even Lamborghini, we wanted to show you the very latest from Volkswagen. And despite VW being headquartered in Wolfsburg in the northern part of Germany, Today we would like to bring you into the historic city of Dresden, where our story begins. Dresden has an illustrious history as the capital of the Kingdom of Saxony. Its rulers for centuries filled the city with cultural and artistic splendor. Dresden was completely destroyed during World War II. The bombings and the fact that Dresden spent 40 years as a part of East Germany surely changed the image of this once glorious town. But after reunification in 1990, a lot of the city has been rebuilt and Dresden has re-emerged as a cultural and economic powerhouse. Welcome to the Glass Factory. I first came here a few years ago and the reason by the way that it's called a glass or transparent factory is because all the processes are in the open for any visitor to see. And it's also quite literally transparent as you can see with all the glass used. Interestingly it is also environmentally friendly despite being smack in the heart of Dresden. And believe it or not it also serves as a venue for cultural performances like concerts and plays. Uh, I think we, uh, in the last five to six years, we are a part of Dresden and we are part of the uh, cultural area of Dresden. And we not only produce cars in here, we do some uh, cultural work also with music, with a, uh, with a connection to the Zempa Oper and so on. And based on that, I think uh, the complete cultural concept is what is necessary and also it's our, let's say, uh, our need to give something to Dresden back like Volkswagen is part of Dresden, and Dresden is a little bit part of Volkswagen. This is the latest version of the company's flagship luxury sedan, the Phaeton. Volkswagen wanted to really make an impression with this car, and so even the way it was built had to be special. And it's the only car that's made here at the transparent factory. Regular viewers remember this, this is the glass factory. We are in Dresden and the Phaeton is assembled here by Volkswagen. Now behind me of course is the original Phaeton which is uh, the classic car on which the new one is based in terms of the name. And it's a legend so it really epitomizes the flagship of the Volkswagen brand. The whole idea is to talk about the best luxury features that you can pack into a car. We'll show you the car but we'll also take you back into the plant now because uh, well it's always special to be here and even coming back for the second time I'm quite enjoying the experience. Tubar.com, 